In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the settings in the advanced settings section of the All-in-One SEO plugin. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the upload plugin button and then click choose file and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the install now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says activate plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO setup wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the downloads tab. And then next to where it says license key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the license key field. Click connect. And that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So you've got All-in-One SEO installed. Maybe you've been using it for a little while, but you're wondering what is going on with those advanced settings. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what those settings mean. So let's head on over to the All-in-One SEO menu on the left and click on General Settings. And then on the tabs up top, today we're going to click on the Advanced tab. You don't have to change any of the settings here. Our team of experts behind All-in-One SEO has the defaults here set up so that 99% of the people that use our plugin to optimize their websites for search engines will have great success just with the default settings here. With that being said, I'm going to dive in and show you what these do. So the first setting here, True SEO Score and Content, allows you to disable the True SEO Score if you don't want to see that. The True SEO score is very useful. It basically analyzes your content for search engine optimization and simplifies it into a score. I'm going to leave that on, but if you wanted to toggle it off, this is where you do that. The next option below that is the headline analyzer. This will analyze the content of your headlines on your post or pages and tell you how you can improve them to rank better in search results. So again, you could shut that off here, but this is something that's incredibly useful for SEO, so I'm going to leave it on. Post type columns refers to where do you want the all-in-one SEO column to appear. By default, it is on all post types. But if I uncheck that checkbox, I could have it only appear on post, only appear on pages, or only appear on attachments. You can select any combination here. So it's the column for all-in-one SEO that appears on that post page. I'm going to leave this on all post types. Below that is taxonomy columns. It's a similar concept. By default, it's on all taxonomies, but I could choose whether I want it on just categories or just tags. And again, this is referring to the all-in-one SEO column. I'm going to leave that on as well. The admin bar menu is this menu right here in all-in-one SEO. Uh, you can hide that or show it. I'm going to choose to leave it and show it. Dashboard widgets refers to the widget on the dashboard of your WordPress website. And again, you can hide that or show it. I'm going to leave that on show. Announcements refers to announcements within the plugin. Anytime we release a new version of the plugin, we would announce that. So if you hide this, you're not going to get those important announcements. I'm going to leave that on show because those announcements are very important. Automatic updates uh, by default is set to all, so the plugin will be automatically updated. You could do it for minor updates only, so you would only get bug fixes and security updates. 
or you could do no updates, which obviously is not recommended. I'm going to leave this one on all so I get all of the updates. And then the last one refers to if you are uninstalling all-in-one SEO, if you toggle that switch on, it's going to remove all of the data you ever had saved with all-in-one SEO, all of the settings and everything. So if you were ever to reinstall the plugin, you're basically starting from scratch. So I'm going to leave this off. I'm obviously not uninstalling all-in-one SEO on my site, but if you leave this off and uninstall the plugin, it makes it much easier for you if you were to ever reinstall the plugin in the future. When you're done making changes here, you hit the Save Changes button, and you're all done with the advanced settings. So that's how to modify the settings in the advanced settings section of All-in-One SEO. If you don't already have our awesome All-in-One SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video, as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to set up Facebook integration with your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.